Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out some of the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins figures straight from Target of course. We have Stridor, right? Finally showed up in the mail. Look at the, the artwork on that. That's honestly one of my favorite things about all these Origins figures. Lots of little secrets here and there. I don't know if you caught Sun Man, but then you get Skeletor and Fisto, and yeah, the horse looks pretty cool. It's a robot horse, and please, again, like I've said, bag of these demons for the Castle Grayskull would be awesome. The backside, extremely gorgeous artwork. Again, nice little shot of Castle Grayskull. One half war horse, one half war machine, Stridor. Carries the heroes of Eternia to victory, and so does a giant eagle thing, whatever that is. The best part is that Stridor comes with a base that will hook into Castle Grayskull, so that is awesome to expand that universe. The backside shows some heroic warriors and evil warriors for 22, which will be a part of this video. One-time assembly, so you gotta do some work. And then, of course, here is the barcode. He is starting to hit target store shelves now. And of course, that's again where I found mine. Now, thanks to Mattel though, they did send over two of these brand new He-Man Origins Deluxe figures. So we got a new He-Man and we got a new Skeletor, <laughs> which have like action powers to them. So you got the Flying Fist He-Man, swings with awesome might. Love that. Love the chrome finish on that. And Mattel's been really good, really nailing that. New for 22 up there. I'm going to be saying that a lot. It's very catchy, right? Here's the barcode as well. These haven't started to hit store shelves now, but when they do, you can screen grab this for the barcode and the artwork. Again, if I could just point this out, it says He-Man battles vile villains. You get the whole Eternia thing. Maybe they're making that play say. You got Moss Man and whoever the Cyclone guy is or whatever. But you take the Skeletor packaging and it forms one big, huge, long scene. One big battle scene with this new He-Man and the Terror Claws Skeletor. Pretty dang cool if you ask me. More of that, that's pretty cool. And then you get to see other characters here. This one's kind of bent, but you get the idea. So this is the Terror Claws Skeletor. Again, now that I can say I'm new to Masters of the Universe, but uh, what, am I two and a half years in at this point? Never had these prior vintage releases of these characters. I always like when they have action poses and everything. And of course, here's the barcode for Skeletor as well. But again, new for 22, all these different figures, which, and yeah, I think I'm pretty much caught up at this point. What is it? The comic book Triclops and the Sun Man from the Mattel collectors. So in either case, we're, we're, we're going to look at some cool stuff today. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot He-Man sized cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Flying Fist He-Man, the Terror Claws Skeletor and Stridor by Mattel. So of course, we'll kick things off with the giant mechanical robot horse. Of course, in He-Man, there would be a giant robot horse and he looks great, of course. Comes with a Lot of different accessories, which is always nice to see. Three blast effects. They're all the same. Really nice, clear blue plastic, sort of like water, energy, whatever you want to call it. And then he comes with a base. Now, I love setting up Castle Grayskull and really building out that world. And this, again, you put this in the one-time build, yada, yada. But this will hook into Castle Grayskull with this little stand. Comes with this really cool horned mask unicorn mask whatever you want to call it comes with two blasters again these are just solid plastic but they work for what they are stridor has got a nice face to him he does have the whole rope whatever you want to call it that thing and then you got the mouth right there which is articulated <laughs> and he holds that really well i actually really like that you could take this helmet off so you got two helmets one non-battle one sort of battle, like weekend battle, if you wanted to go that route, but uh, nice paint overall for what there is. It, it's it's largely plastic with some stickers, but there's some paint to them. Great articulation in the legs, you got knees, you got feet, you got shoulders for the horses, whatever you want to call it. The neck is actually pretty cool. You get a lot of rotation out of that, and it's pretty dang seamless. I love what they did with that in, of course, you get to see the inside of the horse cockpit. I don't know. How do you describe this thing? It's a robot horse. So is it alive? Is it like the land shark? I don't know how animals work in Eternia, to be honest with you. But the tail is articulated, little cannon, the legs, like I said. So definitely pretty cool. So let's get them all built out and bingo, bango. 
yeah, it's, it's actually pretty dang rad. I mean, you got like a giant battle horse that, yeah, you can fit a figure in, which we'll look at in just a second. But yeah, a lot of extra accessories. I love the base to them. I like that it comes with a stand. It's just really well thought out. It's pretty dang awesome all the way around. You get two feet on the ground. You've got the centerpiece that will hold the figure upright so you don't have to worry about him falling over. Yeah, it's just pretty dang awesome. I got to give it to him. It's a little plasticky, let's be honest, but it's masses of the universe. I mean, it's supposed to be corny. It's supposed to be weird. It's just, it's just cool. That's all I can really say. Now, the actual figures, of course. So you get a wackadoo horse, and then you get some crazy wackadoo figures that really are old school. This is what I really enjoy when I see figures like this. With the He-Man figure, you get the wind-swept hair. We've seen this a dozen times already. Sometimes he's cut up, sometimes he's not. You get the sword, you get an extra hand, but then you get this really cool chromed out He-Man with all these extra attachment parts and everything else, and really nice paint, really nicely done. Very different looking He-Man than other releases thus far. And he's got this huge flying fist bolo thing, which is attached to the black clip-on thing that goes to his wrist. And what, what can you really say about this? You got this little lever thing you hold in the back, and then you just twist his waist, and he just does action poses all day, man. He's just bashing enemies, just bashing, bashing away. So I dig it. And I love how the little thing twirls as well, all on its own. But if you don't want to do that, you can put the sword in his hand and you can just hack and slash and cut Terror Claw's Skeletor to pieces. The shield also spins as well. It's just fun. That's a really fun character thing. The head is really loose on this for some reason. This head, the other one works fine. But uh, yeah, this head, like you can, it's like Beals, you spin them around, right? Then with Skeletor, you get the Havoc Staff, we've seen that. You get this head, we've seen that. We've got these hands, you've seen that. But this, you haven't seen that before. To be honest, it kind of looks like the head of Skylynx from Transformers. It's immediately what I thought of, but it's on a hinge. And then you got the Terror Claws Skeletor. You can see the difference in the head, not much there. Skeletor gets some weird head portraits for the Origins collection, to be quite honest with you. But this is a solid plastic piece. There's no paint on it. Clips onto his arms, just like that. I don't mind it, I think that's cool. Same gimmick as He-Man. You move him at the waist, and of course, Skeletor does his shimmy and shake, and it works fine. It's pretty cool, it just tears at his enemies. He's kind of like those claws that when you, you make uh, Carnitas them, you tear them, never mind. Anyways, so you put the head of Skylinks on him, and you do the same thing again, and that thing will just kind of like whip and snap and bite your enemies, so totally works, totally cool. It's totally ridiculous. I don't know, understand these weapons. Why they thought this would be a good idea. I'm talking about in Eternian lore. Like, I don't know why these work, but hey, it's cool, right? But then, the best part, you take any of these wackadoo He-Man characters, and you take your giant robot horse, and you throw old He-Man in there, and he's just having a great time. I mean, he's going off to battle, doing horse battle things. There's one thing, though. As much as I like to build out the castle, it says, like, it hooks in. There's not really any place to hook it in. It kind of like slides in, you know what I mean? So, yes, it extends the ground. Yes, I like it. I wish it kind of hooked in a little bit better, but I'm partly glad it doesn't as well because then if you have it so close, the horse is definitely not going to fit there because it's giant. It'll hit the levels of the castle. So, it looks cool. The horse is huge. The castle looks great. You can have this giant world of Eternia and He-Man and everything else and I'm sure they got a lot more characters if the artwork is anything to say for 2022. So definitely happy with everything. I would say the He-Man and the Skeletor is going to go kind of either way. I'm having a blast with it because I really like that kind of thing. And I'm having a blast with collecting Origins figures. The horse is pretty dang well done. There's a lot going on. Great stickers to it. Lots of articulation. So if it's say if you're into He-Man Origins and you're really really digging these new releases yeah it's totally gonna be up your alley but if you're kind of on the fence yada yada i mean i could see where some people go like yeah i might hold off and stuff like that but all in all it, it, they're a lot of fun and they all do something fancy and cool so definitely grab them if you need them but i am curious to know what you guys think about these new he-man origins figures and the he-man horse and thank you again to my friends over at mattel for sending over the terror claws skeletor and the Fists of Flying Fury, He-Man, or whatever he's called. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep the craziness coming new for 22. Really looking forward to it. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.